Hello everybody, this is Dr. Brad from the Today in iPad podcast, and I'm going to show off real quickly um, Apple's new iOS 4.3 iPad 4 and 5 finger gestures. First of all, I'd like to say they're really awesome. I mean, it, it just gives you a glimpse into the world of what the iPad is going to be, probably buttonless. So if I take all my five fingers here and I just do a quick swipe, it, it goes back to the home screen. Now, if I take my four fingers and I do an upward swipe, you get the multitasking bar here at the bottom. So now if I go back into Pages and Pages opens up and I do a four finger swipe to the left, boom, it goes into my email. Another four finger swipe goes into Safari. So you have this and then into um, you know all my other apps. So as you can see here, four finger swipe to the left and to the right is such an efficient way to do multitasking, especially like if I'm writing a document and I want to quickly go to Safari, swipe twice, copy paste, swipe twice, back to the document. Uh, now if you get to the end here and you kind of, you know, you're done, you get this kind of like rubber banding effect, you know. I'll show that one more time. Pretty cool. And again, five finger pinch and you're back to the home screen. So, I mean, this really just gives you a glimpse into what the iPad could be like, you know, eventually, uh, a buttonless, buttonless iPad. But the thing is, it's still kind of rough, and you have to activate it through Xcode, so it's, it's, not, it's not like you just download iOS 4.3 and, and it's there. You actually have to activate it. But um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's going to be great. So anyway... Dr. Brad here from the Today in iPad podcast showing off the new iOS 4.3 4 and 5 finger gestures.